Alright, so the next match we're gonna have is gonna be between Korobka and Estes. These both players are highly experienced, with Estes being the most experienced, with over 5000 games under his belt. Uh, while Korobka only has uh, around 3500, which is also a very significant amount. Mm, two highly experienced players, we shall see how well they play. Uh, these following action cards and characters were banned. Uh, these action cards were required and these action cards were selected by each opponent. Now let's look at their deck. Taking a look at Estes deck is definitely an interesting one. I think the main strategy here is just to use each character individually. Uh, Shenha's burst probably won't be all that useful. Both players had to take jets. They do have Jet Engine. I'm not certain what this is the main strategy here is. I think the main strategy will be just to utilize the characters and use the action cards for help. Uh, we'll see if that ends up working out. Taking a look at Korobka's deck, we can see an interesting strategy. We do plunging attacks, I assume. Uh, and we also have normal attack boosts, so I think the strategy will be to use uh, Hutao's normal attack and use uh, action cards to boost that. Uh, we'll see if this one ends up working out. I think this is a bit more of a well-rounded and well-balanced deck, but you know, anything can happen. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Time to watch the match between Korobka and Estes. Reshuffling Joyous Celebration. I've been Maybe waiting for call. you for ages. Alright, let's see. What's the play here? These cards aren't ideal. And these cards these cards are a little bit better actually. You have Sataria, you have Donyazard. Surprised these opponent players didn't go like full bricks with their cards and decks. There you go. Ooh, Paimon. That might be quite useful actually. Setting up Shanghai is the move to go here. Oh, never mind. Playing Paimon. Unleashed. This is also a good move. Some in the field research? These cards aren't ideal though. This. Mm. Playing Dunnes are instead of healing. Okay, well, Korobka does have Echoes and Moonpiercer. Could go Hutao. With Sashimi Platter. That could be a move. You know, you would also have uh, uh, Albedo's uh, elemental skill, though you would need to do. I've been with waiting that. for you for ages! Nope, Nahida. Playing on dice then, not playing. Grow, grow, grow. That plunging attack might actually come in useful here. Or another Paimon to set it up and then you know use jets. That's okay. Setting up jet. Send one, send them all. All right, set enough. Good power. That is also probably a good move. Now it is a little bit unfortunate that Kuroko is not getting elemental reactions. 
because of Geo. But it might not matter, we shall see. Uh, Estes has just about charged up his jet. While Koropka is lacking behind a little bit, but it does have mint meatballs. Time to broaden the horizons again. Paired it up with Utao. Could certainly do a lot. No. Oh. What's up with the switch to Nahid? Oh, I understand. Did that to take advantage of uh, Solar Isotoma for the plunging attack. Uh, dice cost reduction, and that way it saves health on Kutao. You know, sacking, sacking Nahida uh, in, in exchange for a uh, normal attack. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Now. Play Mintrolls, perhaps Echoes, but the uh, Echoes I don't know if that would be a good idea. Hi. Yep, and now Kali is on one health. But he does have a Hash Brown, which Koropka. I can't be able to perceive. I wonder if perhaps a normal attack and a switch would be better here. Okay, gonna proc leaving. Saving it. Yeah, this is actually a better move. Because Kali, Kali will die anyway. So... It is a bit better move just to wait the next round. Then heal up. On the other hand, uh, Estes is gonna have 4 jet stacks now, and maybe he could get a 5th? He'd need a little bit of luck to get a 5th. Right, playing Echoes. Crossover. But one additional dice. Now Estes is left only on Shenha. Hmm. I mean, he could pop Jet, but I don't think that's a net gain actually. I think it will still result in a net loss even if he does pop Jet with Prana. That is exactly what's gonna happen. Manifest. Okay. Some in the field research. Yeah, switch might be better in this case. By ordinance divine. Well, as this has procced his jet, which means one additional attack plus a heal from Hash Brown. Um, not ideal, this. For Korokka. Coming to be! Koropka will burst with Albedo, I'm pretty sure, but... Uh, the summons Estes finished first with three dice. And... And essentially Koropka has to heal. Uh, Estes will be going first. I don't think it's possible for Koropka to salvage this anymore. I mean, just delay it by a round. I think that's the only move available. Dash 
ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Well, and that's the GG. Obey! Oh, remember that. All right, it's time for round two. Oh, Korokka has a very strong start this time. I've been waiting for you for ages. Well, on the other hand, as the start is not uh, anything too interesting, but we'll see. It's not. It's not bad. Unleash. Another Master Shen. Oh, is it time for me to join you? I don't know if that was smart. I think he should have went Albedo first and then Hutawa just to just to yes, just to avoid this. You know, just to tank a bit of damage with Albedo. But we'll see. Perhaps it will work off. I mean more piercer. I mean I don't know. Some in the field research. Also, Korobka could have played Master Zhang for an additional dice reduction, but uh, you know it probably wouldn't really have mattered. Uh, keeping a card for tuning might be a better call to make. Estes, on the other hand, he's gonna set up his. Uh, oh, oh no. he's gonna set up his um, his uh, jets again. Die situation is is horrible for Koropka. What is the situation? All right, as this is just gonna stall. For more dice. I mean, that's probably the best move to make. Probably the best move you can make in this situation. Is it time for me to join you? All right, all right. <laughs> Korovka is just gonna attack for one dice. It's also a good move. Some in the field <laughs> research. And getting a crystallized shield as well. You know that's always nice. Mintrolls. Ooh, Kutawa mintrolls. Well, Estes has all the cards in the world, and I'm pretty sure Jet is at three counter, or four counter, sorry, if I'm not mistaken. And Estes has eleven dice. He could, he could use something nefarious. Time to broaden the horizons again. Once again, the same strategy. Switch to Nagida, Nahida, sack Nahida. Though this time, if Estes remains on Shenha, um, Korobka could spread Nahida seeds to all the characters, which could, which could provide a lot of damage. Manifest. There we go. Spreading the seeds to all the characters. And at this point, I'm pretty sure the best move here is for Korokpa to do Nahida's burst, except that's not a possible move to make due to the die situation. By ordinance divine. Estes has a lot of dice and a lot of good utility. Korokpa is unfortunately little bit behind 
He did decide to tune the... Hmm, tune the min trolls. We'll see if that ends up being a good result or a bad result. As this bursting with seahorse for uh, as many for as many superconducts uh, superconduct reactions as possible. Killing up seahorse. Okay. I'm not certain Kropka can make her solar its Otoma work. Oh, this will be the final round. Kropka does have some additional dice here. Fortunately, no jet. 16 pounds. Huh? Why Rana? Why Rana? That was neutral in terms of dice. Oh, there's that now. Koropka has to heal. Time to go. Unfortunately, Estes is gonna win based off dice and utility. Unleash! Oh, never mind. Just an elemental skill. 